All right, well, it's about to rain. It is uh, not quite raining yet. There's like some droplets coming down though. But we're gonna do a little bit of a garden update here. Got my sleeping pad outside from watching the uh, Perseid meteor shower last night. Um, as you can see, the tomato plants are getting really tall. The ones over here that I haven't um, single stemmed are starting to get pretty thick. And then uh, if you look at the ones that are single stemmed off in the distance there, they're about maxing out the strings on the trellis. So we're gonna have to lower and lean pretty soon. And the same is true for most of the cucumber plants over here. They're getting, well, a couple of them at least, are getting up to the top as well. Um, you can see that the zucchini plants are getting much fuller now. The way they're growing, I'm not as huge of a fan of, but um, I've at least got some female buds on here. Like, let's see. You see here, yeah, right there. See that one? So, and then on here we've got some uh, little crookneck babies that are starting up. Where's the thing? There are flies that live in this hay, by the way, and they come out and they swarm you when I uh, bring this light out. Like, look at this. It's hard to see them. Ooh, if I get down near the hay, they just like come at me. Um, let's see, cucumbers. So if you check out here, here is one that is starting up. Little baby one. And then here is one that's about ready to be picked. I'm going to give it a few more days. But, uh, yeah, you can see they're getting to be a nice size. It's got to be about close to a foot now. Oh. And then we've got another one here. Same deal. Another nice one. Maybe a little over a foot. Nice and crispy. Got one coming on this plant here. New ones forming all the time. Look at all these new ones. Up one, two, three, four, five. And then we already got this one here that's going on this plant. There's a couple of baby ones down here too, those might go. Oh, that one looks like it's going. Right here. We'll see. Um, oh, and then on this one on the ground, there's one here I forgot about. And then, next plant, we've got another really big one here. Pretty sick. And, yep, a bunch more uh, forming on here too. With the, uh, the green shoulders getting nice and swollen, so it's looking like we're gonna be good. And then here's another one, another nice big one. Another ground one two on that plant and again the new ones all lining up to go and then here's the plant that was a little bit behind you can see now uh, we got this one starting up and this one starting up and this one starting up those are three that are gonna be going oh yeah four 
and this one. So one, two, three. Those are all about the same size, so those will all be growing simultaneously. Now here's what I'm really excited about. Well, we got the beans down here. Um, this is the cool thing, check this out. That there is the first sun gold, brother. Check it. So you can see it's still a little green on the shoulders. It's not all the way ripe yet. But another few days and I'm going to be having myself a sun gold tomato. And I can't wait. It's been a long time. It's been since last year. So yeah, it's sun golds you can see. Doing really nicely. We'll kind of go through real quickly. We'll just look at the trellis, the trusses. Over there, one over here now. Yeah. And the 1X works better for focus. So we'll go with that. No color on these ones still. They're they're about a week behind the other plant, so another week or two we're gonna be uh, swimming in the sun golds here, which is cool. Here's your black cherry plant. Starting to put out some more uh, flowers up top. Got some there. The fruits set at least. And then here's the uh, the ones that are gonna be uh, ripening up eventually. see those. Here's the sun greens. Still pretty uh, pretty hard but if you look at the shape of them they're interesting. They're they're like wider on one side. They're kind of oblong but in an interesting way. There's some more forming uh, right here. And then we got the sun peach over here. Those are starting to get nice. Starting to feel a little more rain. But yeah, see there we're hitting the tops of the hooks here, so we're gonna have to lower these down probably tomorrow. White tomasol laying down some more fruit up here. The beans doing well. Look at those ones. Getting nice and big. And these ones here. And then right here we've got the Brandy Boy. Nice size on those boys. Got another one right there. Over here. Chef's Choice Orange. It's still uh, pretty green on the bottom. But we got more coming, which is cool. Same here. And then more trusses up here. Here's our Abraham Lincoln. Oh my god, it keeps growing into my clip. I keep having to move the clip. I keep moving it, and it keeps growing into it. I might have to adjust it into a different spot. I think I can make it work if I move it to a different place, a little farther down. But yeah, that thing, it keeps growing into the clip. 
I moved it just like literally just yesterday. Dude, that thing's gonna be big. Like here it is already. Hand size comparison. It's already like almost baseball length. All right, hold on one sec. We're gonna adjust that. Okay, I just uh, went in there and uh, moved it, obviously, and that's that's a lot better. So hopefully that'll be free now. And uh, yeah, you can see the other one that's growing here too. Nice. And the little side shoot is almost caught up with this uh, the second one. So now we've basically got two growth tips that I'm going to start training up this. I'm going to get another uh, wire up here and then we'll, uh, we'll have two of them going. So basically it's going to be two uh, Abraham Lincoln plants, but I don't know if it'll be enough time to ripen another one. And uh, here's our green giant. Starting to get a little bit of glossiness on this guy here, which is nice. It means it's ripening you can see the Virginia Sweets definitely have the same thing going, looking really nice. The second one's up here getting big too. Looking like they're pulling a little stress on the uh, the branch here, so I might stake this branch up. But we'll see what happens. Sometimes when it has these little breaks, it can uh, turn into like a knuckle that gives the plant even more nutrients so we'll see how it looks tomorrow if it looks like it's swelling we'll let it go all right here's the uh, dr. white cheese down here looking nice more flowers popping here's a tomato there gold medal pretty slow going like it's got nice tomatoes Two of them, but uh, here's the second flower truss, and that's it so far. So here's the cukes on this plant. Here's the one that's starting to uh, swell. So yeah, we're gonna have some extra cukes over here. What the hell? Sick, extra cukes. I accidentally snapped the top off of the virus Ananas Noir. But the growth shoot on the side isn't virused. I don't know how the fuck that works, but it's working. So we got tomatoes coming off of this one now. Um, here's the other one. You can see these fruit up here. This one is a mega bloom, actually. See that? Double tomato. That's cool. And we got some more coming here. Here's a gold medal. This gold medal actually has more flowers than the single stemmed one. <laughs> so here's another black cherry. Mm -hmm, getting nice and vigorous now. This was struggling for a little while, but. Here's the fruit down here. And then we got this tomato here. This is the sun peach number two. Starting to outgrow the cage. I might have to think something else to do with like a stake system or something to hold this guy up. But yeah, setting the fruit, which is nice. And uh, doing well. So yeah, that's basically the the whole thing. I will catch you guys on the uh, on the next one. Peace off.